Hey guys, I uh, just started the tear down of my motor uh, to try to figure out where the water is coming from that's mixing with my oil. So uh, this is the first thing. Um, oh, actually, I pulled the risers off a little while back. Check those out. No leaks or anything there. Uh, no cracks or anything, and those look good. Uh, but then I just pulled off my exhaust manifolds and uh, to check those out and test those and make sure there weren't any cracks in that, uh, hairline cracks or anything, because I'm only getting water in there under a load. Um, when I test it in the driveway, you know, no water gets in the oil, but uh, when I take it out to the lake, man, I get about uh, probably an extra quart, sometimes two quarts, depending upon how long I'm out on the, on the lake. But uh, there's a sticky post uh, that uh, I was reading about on iBoats uh, the other day, and uh, one of the guys that posted uh, recommended that I check that out. And um, he said to pour acetone down uh, in the manifold here, and it's the same thing as pressure testing it. So it's what I've done. I just pulled one of the, <laughs> you can see one of the hoses here, coolant hoses um, off the motor, which is actually one of the ones that came off the riser there, and, or the manifold, I'm, I'm sorry bottom of the manifold screwed that on and I've been pouring acetone you know just with a funnel right th right here through the top and uh, filled it all the way up you can see you know the level there is good um, both of my manifolds look great you can see you know once you get that full um, you can kind of look down in the ports here the exhaust ports and you know check out all the different ports and make sure you're not getting any you know seepage down in there um, you can really you know kind of grab a flashlight and look down in there but uh, my, or you can also check your level and make sure, you know, your acetone's staying right there at the top, which mine has. Um, on both of them, it checked out. But I just wanted to post this for the guys that are like, you pour acetone where? Um, this is how I did it. I just, you know, pulled that hose off, poured it down, you know, used a funnel, poured it down the hose, and uh, filled it up. And leave it in there for, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes and uh, check for any seepage or anything. But, man, both of them are checking out. Uh, so that's definitely not my problem. Uh, so... I guess it's continued digging. <laughs> it's planning on tearing the engine apart anyways. Um, so I will continue to dig. One thing, I uh, turned my, my manifold over on the right side and all that dirt came out. I flipped it over and I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, so there was tons of dirt, and debris, and rust. So I'm going to be cleaning those out, really flushing those out. Same thing with all the hoses. I'm sure there's just dirt everywhere. Uh, if that came out of one of the exhaust manifold so anyways guys just wanted to post that for those of you that are like a little confused on how to pour that in there and how to get that um, set up uh, hopefully this will help somebody out if you ever have to test these things